Welcome back to today's video. We are continuing the CSL conversion on my E46 M3 and what we're doing in this video is replacing the trunk to the CSL parts. So I'm going to cover which parts fit perfectly, which parts I had issues fitting and had to modify so that the parts would fit properly and then I'll also put down all the part numbers that were required for some of the parts to get installed. Okay, so that's enough talking for this video. Let's get straight to the install. Okay, so to take off the rear bumper, we have to uh, undo three bolts on each side of the car. So there's one bolt right here, there's one bolt right here, and there's another bolt right here. So you're going to have to undo the cover for the plastic on the battery and then on the other side as well. You're going to undo the plastic right here so you can access the final bolt over there. Um, you're also going to have to remove this foam that goes right here so you can access this bolt right here. So. Now that we know that, we're going to go in with a 13 millimeter, and we're going to undo this bolt right here. There's another one right there, and then the final one. Now we're going to undo this one, but not fully, so we can undo the fender liner, and then the bumper can come off. Okay, so on the right side, we have to remove three bolts on the fender liner, and they're located, there's a clip right here. 8 millimeter bolt right here and another one up here. So we're going to remove those three. On the other side, remove the clip and two bolts. And then we're going to be able to pull off this bumper and then we can send it off to paint. So yeah, let's start removing that and then we can get to removing the bumper. Okay, so now that we've taken off most of the covers and all those uh, clips, there's the next step we have to take out the harness that's within the trunk that goes to the uh, lights and the locking mechanism. So what we have to do is remove and unclip all those connections and then we can remove this trunk and put the new trunk on and then start reassembling all those components back onto the new trunk. So yeah, we're going to do that right now. Okay, so now we're removing this uh, cover right here which will expose most of these wires. And now we're gonna start unplugging all of these light bulbs and the lighting assembly. So we're gonna take this out. We're gonna undo the connector right here. And that's off. All right, same thing with this side. Take the connector out. All right, now this side is complete. Now we get the cable out. Okay, so now we're gonna take off the connector right here for the locking mechanism with the clip. All right, so that's done. Now we can start pulling over the harness this way. We pull it out. Now we're gonna undo this mechanism right here and then we can pull out the whole harness out the bottom of the trunk. Okay, so now we're gonna undo this clip and then we can pull this off right here. So now we're undoing this connector right here. All right, to loosen up the harness, which goes, I'm assuming, to the license plate lighting. So we're gonna have a different harness for that as well. Now we're undoing this bolt right here. So there's two bolts holding that cover in. This cover is holding the key mechanism in. All right, so now we're removing the key locking mechanism right here, the cover, so we got that off. And now we just have to uh, remove this connector and the locking mechanism is disengaged. And now we just have to pull out this whole wiring harness out the car. And the biggest problem is putting it back into the car. So that's out, and now we can uh, finally remove the trunk and disassemble all the other parts while it's off the car. Yeah, so let's get the hydraulics off. We're gonna unscrew each bolt, and then we're gonna plant it over there on the ground, and we're gonna continue the disassembly. And this one, we do not take off completely. We just uh, loosen the bolt. So we can slide it off. All right, same thing goes for this one. We just uh, loosen it up so we can pull it off. And there we go. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we're taking off right now is the locking mechanism. Um, so we just have to take these three screws out and then I'm assuming we can just pull it off. And uh, we're gonna start doing that right now. All right, so we got this out. So these are components that we're not going to be transferring over to the new trunk, and that's uh, these lights. They don't fit. You need different types of lights, which I'm going to be doing custom ones from a new gen uh, BMW. We're not going to have the handle, and uh, you should probably buy one of these new ones. So this grommet right here, I got a new one, so we're not going to be, this is garbage now. 
so that's it from anything else we have to transfer over from this trunk so we're gonna continue working on the CSL trunk now okay so before I put it back on the new trunk I want to clean off all this gunk so we're gonna be uh, removing and starting to clean off all this like it's like oil residue and then we're gonna install it onto the car with the new grommet so the next thing is we're gonna put the grommet on the trunk and then we're gonna put this back in reassemble everything and then we're gonna throw the trunk onto the car and then do the final steps of alignment and seeing how it fits on the car Okay, so now we're installing the key locking mechanism. So you push it into the slot right here and then you twist it. So this is how this goes. We're gonna screw this down first and then we're gonna start attaching the other components there. We've put this in, we've put the key mechanism in. Now we're gonna start putting the final bits in so we can start assembling it in the car. So the next step is gonna be uh, putting this wiring harness through this hole up out here and then we're gonna individually uh, pull out every single wire wherever it has to go and then we're gonna have to modify this cable right here for the lighting system so we're gonna have to do that as well so that's gonna be coming up in a separate video just to show you guys how to do that okay so what we did with the harness is we taped up every connector up to the harness and I've pushed it up the trunk so basically you have to push it and keep pushing and it kind of wiggles its way through the trunk and then you'll be able to grab a connector up here and once you do that you can start pulling and feeding in the connectors so now we're adding this to support the trunk so it doesn't smash us in the head right there and then we just clip it in and now it's supported and won't just fall down on us okay so we're back um, I got the bumper back from paint we've got the trunk painted the bumper and the diffuser at the same time so everything's gonna be color matched perfectly um, so yeah last night we installed the trunk and made sure that the panel gaps were all lined up on the car. It was pretty easy to get this trunk to fit since it's OEM, but yeah, just the minor adjustments weren't needed to get it to fit properly. So let's open it up. So this one is the one that opens up with no handle right there. And points of adjustment right here and right there and then the shock right here. You want to have it on, but I'm getting new ones because, as you can see, it kind of wiggles after you let go of it when, once it's open. But another point of adjustment is down here and up here on the trunk. So depending on how, like, there's a lot of wiggle room, you want to push it out. The next step now is to modify the wiring to make these new lights fit from the one series so we're gonna be doing that in a separate video which I'll be linking up here on the top and now we're continuing with the CSL conversion by uh, we're gonna be removing the tr uh, bumper so I can install the new sensors or the old sensors but install them back on and then we're gonna install the diffuser and then the rear is gonna be done okay so now we're going to do the finishing touches on the trunk and we're going to be installing the two grommets right there and the new emblem. So let's get to it. I'll push it with the whole hand. Alright, there we go. Let's take a few seconds just to admire how good this trunk looks. Even without the car complete, it looks amazing. I'm super hyped about it um, with the BMW logo. Right there, it looks so good now. And then we got that clean, clean keyhole right there. So now we're gonna take the bumper back off so we can install the parking sensors. And then we can install the diffuser and put it back on the car. And we can continue the CSL conversion on the front end. Okay, so now we're gonna install the CSO diffuser. Alright, so we're installing this bad boy. Isn't this isn't the original CSO diffuser because I couldn't justify three thousand dollars for this much of carbon fiber when you can buy other stuff for that kind of money like the CSO intake. This one is from Status Gripper. If it's pretty nicely, you do have to modify it though. So let me show you what I modified. Um this tab right here, or these tabs are, uh this lip right here was too tall, too thick, and too long. And I had to, uh, I used a Dremel and I shaved down the edge. So I shaved down the edge right here and then I shaved down the insides as well, right here. And I also shortened it. By doing that, the 
diffuser fits pretty nicely flush like it's supposed to looking pretty OEM so now that everything's been painted the fit was tested before we can install it on the uh, bumper Okay, so when we're putting back plug in the sensors and then there's a uh, sliding mechanism right here which you slide the bumper into and then it hangs in and then we, we have to just push down here to clip it in and once it's clipped in you can attach the screws and put the fender liner back in and then the car is pretty much done here's like an initial look at what it looks like with the CSI diffuser and the super sprint exhaust the super sprint exhaust it's pretty flush with the CSL diffuser. It looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna finish the car up, put the screws in, and then we're gonna go wash the car. for today's video we finally washed the car or we had a quick wash for the car made sure it's kind of clean to show you guys how the rear end looks now all tidied up with the CSL parts in the next video we are taking the car to the dyno and so we're gonna be doing the front end in a different video we were planning on doing it all together but some parts didn't come in on time so we're gonna slightly delay that until these parts come in and then we're gonna finish up the front end as well but in the meantime, we're taking the car to the dyno in the next video, and we're gonna see what the CSL intake did for performance. Did we gain power, did we lose power? Uh, I highly suspect that we lost power since it's not fully tuned properly to my car setup, so we could have lost power instead of gaining power. So we'll find that out in the next video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next one.